I have been repairing kites for the last 7 years now and I often have to spend a lot of time in placing the bladders back into place, for which I unfortunately have to charge my clients. My name is Petr Palovic and in this episode I want to share my kite repair experience with you so you don't have to pay anyone to place your bladders back in place. We will see how to put the bladder strut back in place with an assistant and analyze some of the steps. We will also see how to put the leading edge bladder in place with an assistant and analyze the steps and the problems that might occur. In the end I will show you the steps of placing the bladder back in place if you don't have anyone who can help you. The bladders might look like a fragile material and maybe you are scared to damage it. But believe me, the bladder is much stronger than it looks. And if it breaks in your hands, it means that it is a really bad bladder. So it's even better that it breaks in your hands than during your kite surf session. Let's see first the easy part of the job. You will need one line. The best is to use a line of your bar and one wooden stick which you may find around you or I prefer using a plastic stick which I took from a broken tent. Connect the line on the stick with a double loop. Push the stick through the valve hole and exit the stick from the strut tip. Disconnect the line from the stick. Take the corresponding strut bladder and push the top of the strut inside the bladder. Fold the bladder behind the valve, loop the line around the valve, make sure that the valve is pointing in the right direction of the valve placement. Ask your assistant to gently start pulling the line. Push the valve in the strut, with one hand pull the canopy towards yourself and with the other hand follow the bladder to get the strut correctly inside. Once the valve sticks out of the valve placement, make sure that the bladder is completely inside the strut. Fold the tip and push it inside the strut to stick it on the velcro if there is one. Pull the valve out and place it perfectly in position. Disconnect the line from the valve. To make sure that the bladder fits in perfectly, gently pump the strut with the pump or with your mouth. Make sure that there is no any twist in the bladder and that the top of the bladder fits in perfectly. If it doesn't seem perfect, you can try to deflate and inflate the strut again. If it still doesn't look perfect, you will have to pull out the strut and repeat the process. There are some brands that have a line on top of the strut bladder on which you can perfectly pull the bladder back inside. Honestly, I never use it as you need a tiny line that you can easily push through the tiny hole and this is possible only while putting out the strut bladder. So if you don't use this technique, it's always important to push the top of the bladder in the strut bladder and once you pump the strut, the top of the strut bladder fits easily and perfectly back into place. With some brands or small sizes of kites, it might seem impossible to pass the valve from the tip of the strut. Sometimes you will have to push it quite aggressively. Don't worry about breaking the valve, it should not break. Because if it breaks like that, it means that the valve is bad quality and that it would probably break during your session. This was the easy part. To put the leading edge bladder in place, you will need a bit more time and I would say a bit more patience. So pay attention on all the steps and later we will see what problems might occur. Again you will need a line and a stick. We will put the stick with the line from one wingtip of the kite and exit the line from the middle of the kite. You can do it immediately from both sides if you have two lines. Try to secure the line somewhere on the kite so that they don't slide accidentally back in the kite. If you have a brand new leading edge bladder, it's most often covered with baby powder. This helps the bladder to easier fit into the kite. If your bladder is not covered with baby powder, you can add some, but it's not obligatory. I personally don't use it. The best is to choose to put first the side of the bladder that fits in the inflate valve. Adjust the kite to lay nicely on the ground. Loop the line over the tip of the bladder and make an easy knot over the line. 
put the tip bladder inside the kite and ask your assistant to gently pull the line. With your hand follow the bladder to correctly get in the kite, valves in the direction of the exit points of the valves and one edge of the bladder pointing to fit the swings of the leading edge. Once the tip of the bladder sticks out of the wingtip, tell your assistant to stop pulling. If the inflate valve is not yet inside the kite, now you can push it yourself and put the valve in place. Then go to the exit of the other valves. Press gently with your hand on top of the leading edge to spot the valve. Try to reach the valve with your fingers through the hole. Gently stick it out of the hole and shake the valve, so there is not a bladder sticking around the valve. Fit the valve in place. Go to the wingtip of the kite, disconnect the line from the bladder, push the bladder inside the kite, hold the tip of the bladder on the edge of the kite tip and shake it so that the bladder slides nicely in the kite. Fold the tip, push it in the kite and stick it on the velcro if there is one. Do the same procedure with the other side of the bladder. Once the complete bladder is back in place, close the zipper in the middle of the leading edge, connect the strut pipes with the leading edge valves, the easiest is with a bit of saliva or some water. Now you are ready to slowly pump your kite and pray! While pumping your kite, take a close attention on the complete leading edge and time to time stop pumping and shake the leading edge. This helps the bladder to better fit in place. Before pumping the kite super hard, make sure that the bladder fits perfectly in place. Once it's pumped, I recommend to also make sure that the bladders are not losing air, as you could see in my previous episode. Close the pipes connecting the leading edge with the struts and secure the kite in beach position for 10 to 15 minutes. Open the pipes and if you don't hear any air movement, you can now secure the pipes on the valves and pack your kite. When there is the valve going inside the bladder, always fold the bladder behind the valve. This will keep the valve in the correct position while the bladder is sliding inside the kite. On some brands you can easily stick and place the valve. With other brands you should be a bit more aggressive to perfectly place the valve. Again, don't be afraid that it might break. If it breaks, it means that the valve is bad and it's better that it breaks in your hand than during your session. Before pumping the kite super hard, you might already see the bladder looking a bit twisted or the valve is going out of place. If this is the case, you want to deflate the kite, shake and rub this part of the leading edge. If the problem is around the valve, push the valve in the kite and while holding the valve, shake the bladder. Push the air completely out from this side of the bladder where you spot the problem and gently repump the kite. The problem might be gone. But if it doesn't look perfect yet, repeat the same process until the bladder fits perfectly in place. If the bladder is twisted close to the wingtip, you deflate the kite, open the wingtip of the kite, pull the bladder out and slowly put it back in and hopefully it turns on the correct side. Again pump up the kite, if it still didn't fit perfectly, again you can try to repeat the process. If the bladder is completely twisted more towards the middle of the leading edge, then you will have to put this side of the bladder out and repeat the process of putting the bladder back in place. You want to be sure that under and around the kite are no sharp objects that could damage the kite. Once you are ready to put the bladder in place, connect the line on a stable fixed point. Go to your bladder. With one hand pull the kite towards yourself and walk backwards. With the other hand follow the bladder so it goes nicely inside. If this episode was helpful please give it a like and I will see you in the next episode.